The islands of the Republic of Malta lie in the heart of the Mediterranean, the sea between the lands, where some of the world's earliest civilizations originated. There are two main islands, Malta and Gozo, a small inhabited island, Comino, and two uninhabited islands, Cominoto and Filfla, a protected bird sanctuary. Between them, they total only 313 square kilometers. There are no rivers. The islands are rocky and soil is at a premium. Wells are dug down to water tables that sit on blue clay between the limestone layers. Scuba divers on their way to the famed inland sea have to pick their way across fossilized strata. It wasn't always like this. Dense forest once covered the land, and 180,000 years ago, in an era that long preceded the arrival of man, elephants inhabited these islands. Pygmy elephants, hippopotami, and other animals that were completely alien to Malta. The discovery of their existence was made by Dr. George Zamet Memphel, a family practitioner and amateur archaeologist, here at Gar de Lam, the Caves of Darkness. His discovery was to make a significant impact on the world. There's a complete sequence going from the time of the Ice Age, time of the hippos, 130, over 130,000 years, and it extends up to the modern times. We never had an Ice Age, but we had the effects of the Ice Age. Uh -huh. And the two effects of the Ice Age that we suffered from most were, one, the rain, mm -hmm. and sea levels change in sea levels. Mm -hmm. During the glacial phases, you get uh, low temperatures and everything freezes. You get the ice sheets forming and you get the uh, rivers freezing. The Mediterranean separates Europe from Africa. It is a landlocked sea and stretches from the Atlantic Ocean on the west to Asia on the east. Two main basins with depths up to 16,000 feet are divided by a shallow submerged ridge that lies between the island of Sicily and the African coast. The islands of Malta sit on a shelf that extends 90 kilometers south of Sicily. During the Ice Age, when the rivers froze, there was nothing feeding the Mediterranean and sea levels went down, creating a land bridge with Sicily. And the fauna that was escaping the inclement weather up north traveled southwards and through Sicily, came to Malta, couldn't go further downwards. So this was the underbelly of Europe here, the southernmost part of Europe. So they remained here. Everything returned to normal. Right. Uh, sea levels rose up again and these animals were trapped in large numbers. And the, limit, the food was limited. And to survive, they, their progeny became smaller and they adapted. Dr. Memphel uncovered the remains of dwarf elephant and dwarf hippopotamus. The discovery itself is intriguing. Stalactites hanging from the ceiling had no corresponding stalagmites on the ground below. So by digging down, he found the top of the stalagmites and eventually the original ground level of the cave. He allowed me to venture down to where excavations are still taking place. I am looking at an absolutely enormous bone down here. Actually, I'm looking at about three or four of them. Yes. So you think that these would you, you're, you're suggesting these would be hippopotamus bones? Yes, they are hippopotamus bones. Right. I've been, I've been through those. Uh, one of them that you see exposed is a radius and dalna. Each layer of soil is classified according to the predominant material. On top of the bone-free clay layer is the hippopotamus layer, which also includes the bones of gigantic dormice and elephants. Above that is the pebble layer, then human from cave dwellers and early farmers, and above that a major change in the fauna with the remains of deer, bear and fox. For more information visit our website on topoftheworld.net. <laughs>